Hey guys, today we're going to explore how to integrate artillery into our single player and multiplayer games using the combined arms module. So stick around and let's find out how to put some warheads on foreheads. That was a, uh, quite a bit of fire there. Now let me start off by saying I know full well that I am not the first person to discover this. There's plenty of videos out there on YouTube showing how this is done. This is just my way of showing new players that there is some utility in the combined arms module. Alright, so let's uh, take a look at how we're going to build our mission and add artillery. So obviously we're going to drop it in, and we're going to put it in a place where it can range whatever targets. Then we're going to build our mission as normal, put in our uh, units, put in some waypoints. In this case, I'm going to put my first waypoint into where I'm going to use as my battle position, and my second waypoint is where I'm uh, templating the enemy at. I've got to make sure again that my artillery can range those targets. And then I've got to make sure that everything is set up so I can use them. Now I'm not sure which one of these four, I think it's Tactical Commander, but I know I've got to have that clicked. Pilot can't control vehicles. If you don't click that, you're going to have problems. So now let's take a look and see what it looks like in the cockpit. Alright, so we've made it to our battle position. We're doing a quick map check, make sure we're in the right area pointing in the right direction. We're going to pop up, get our sensors out, make sure we find the right target. I can see him visually. I'll just move the sensor down, and there we go. Now there's a couple different ways to figure out where exactly these guys are. With the KA-50, you can figure out their lat long, which is not very accurate but it can be done. So we're going to set this to the edit mode, flip that switch up, hit nav, and then we're going to uncage our skaval. And what it's going to do is it's going to populate the lat long. Now what you're going to find, because lat long is not very accurate for what we're trying to do, that these numbers are going to be a little off. Alright, so now we're going to click on our artillery. You're going to see set path and add target. Click on that add target. Now you got to be careful at this point, if uh, you page off of the F10 map, everything that you've typed in will disappear, so you're going to have to start over again, so we'll probably jot those numbers down or take a picture with your phone or something. Alright, so once you get your lat long typed in there, uh, you're going to hit set, and it's going to populate that target where it thinks you know, you're trying to put it based on the lat long, but you can see here that lat long is not very precise, and so that target's just going to kind of land somewhere. Now what you want to do at this point is take a look at that grid, do some terrain and map analysis, and figure out if that's exactly where you want your target to land. After that, you can make adjustments to how many rounds are going to fire, the target radius, and then you're going to hit the Start Fire button. If you click on the artillery, you're going to see a timer counting down. And once that gets to zero, the guns are going to start firing. At this point, it's a waiting game, so continue to observe the target and make sure the rounds land where you want them. Now keep in mind with artillery, those rounds aren't accurate. They're going to land all over the place. You're probably not going to get the effects that you think you are, meaning you're not going to destroy everything with a few rounds. But you are going to cause some damage and maybe disrupt them and cause them to move from their locations, which could be handy if you're trying to find other vehicles in the unit. Now I did say in the beginning there are other ways to figure out the target's location. You could use the Abris and the marking system, or you could just do some terrain analysis, use your map, and try to get your best guess of where you think the enemy's at. Again, using artillery to destroy targets is probably not going to work out for you unless you're willing to sit there for a while and use a lot of rounds. But it can be good to disrupt them, uh, suppress some air defense, but you're probably going to have to use your organic weapons to finish off the target. Another potential use is to mark the target for any fixed wing that are flying high overhead. Maybe they're having a hard time finding the targets, but they will see those explosions, so it's just something to think about. Anyways guys, just want to go over those basic techniques. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and hit like and subscribe while you're at it. I appreciate everyone watching, stay healthy out there, and fly safe.